Today on this 2004 Honda Pilot, we're going to be installing Kurt Hitch, part number 13328. We're underneath the vehicle and we need to do a couple things in preparation before we can get started installing our trailer hitch. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and lower our spare tire and, and get it out of the way. And next over here on the passenger side, we need to go ahead and lower the exhaust down to give us a little bit more working room. There are three hangers here at the rear that are holding the exhaust in position. Two here on the inboard side and one here on the outboard side. To lower the exhaust off of its hangers, what we're gonna do is take a spray lubricant, like a WD-40, and just spray down the studs of the exhaust hanger. And then we can just take either a pair of pliers or a pry bar, separate the rubber hanger from the stud. We wanna go ahead and repeat that for all three hangers, but before we remove them, we wanna make sure we put a support strap across the front exhaust tube, because when you remove the three hangers, the exhaust could fall and damage your system. Then with the exhaust lowered, we're taking a look now at the driver's side frame rail. You can see over here we've got factory installed tow hook. We are gonna to need to remove this. There are three bolts holding it into position. Those are actually gonna provide our three attaching points over here on the driver's side frame rail. And over here on the passenger side, we're gonna be using the same three weld nuts. You can see there's nothing in position here. The weld nuts are exposed. And then we have two final center attaching points here at the back side of the bumper. With our mounting holes pointed out, I'm coming over here to the passenger side of the vehicle where we had the exposed weld nuts on the frame. Any vehicle that's seen at least one winter is going to have some rust and road grind built up into these weld nuts, as well as probably the ones in the center of the vehicle as well. If that's the case, you want to go ahead and thoroughly clean those out before you attempt to put your bolts in. To do that, Again, we're gonna be using a spray lubricant, like a WD-40. We just wanna spray those threads down, and then we're just gonna take a wire brush and go ahead and run that into the weld nuts a few times. You may need to do this a couple of times per weld nut. And it's a good idea to go ahead and give a test fit with your bolts before attempting to put the hitch up in position. And now that we've got all the weld nuts thoroughly cleaned out, we can go ahead and put our hitch up in position. We just wanna make sure over here on the passenger side that we go up and over the exhaust into these passenger side weld nuts, as well as on the driver's side weld nuts, we're going to be using the 12 millimeter bolts along with the conical tooth washers. At the center attaching point, at the back of the bumper, we're going to be using the 10 millimeter bolts along with the conical tooth washer. If you notice when putting the bolts into the back side of the bumper that your tab here has got a little bit of a flex to it or if you've got a little bit of space in here, that's okay because when you tighten these bolts down, this tab will actually flex towards and mount flat with the bumper. And now that we've got all our bolts in place and tightened down, we're going to go back through and torque them down. You want to verify with the directions the specific torque rating for each of the bolts. And you can see now that I've got the bolts here in the bumper torqued down, that our hitch is now flat against the bumper. Then with the bolts torqued down, we just want to make sure we put our exhaust back up on its hangers and our spare tire back up into position, and our installation will be complete. And now with our hitch installed, we're gonna go ahead and give you a couple of final dimensions that'll help make choosing your hitch accessories a little bit easier. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is gonna measure 16 and 3 8 inches. And from the center of the pinhole to clear the rear edge of the bumper is gonna be approximately five and a half inches. This will conclude the installation of Kurt Hitch, part number 13328.